everyone, welcome back to weekly Korean live class. My name is Kejun. 안녕하세요, Kejun입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chimchim입니다. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and I see the comments on YouTube and on Facebook. <laughs> so 안녕하세요, how are you guys? Thank you so much for joining today's class too. Mm, I'm glad. And as usual, this is 30 minutes Korean lesson. So if you are interested in learning Korean for 30 minutes, join it. <laughs> this is live, by the way, live. L-I-V-E. L-I-V-E. Because <laughs> I got some questions. Is it really live? Yes, it is live. And today's topic is how to say cleaning items that you have at your place. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure you have some cleaning items at your place, right? Like broom, <laughs> rag, vacuum, etc, etc. So today we are going to learn how to talk about that. And that's very important because that's what you are seeing every single day. And you need to know how to say that. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. And Shuna, Emily, learn Japanese. <laughs> Kwati, uh, Kishore, Venus, uh, Busan's, Busan's breathe. Are you in Busan? <laughs> and Orange Cloud, <laughs> and Kurisu, and we have new members too. Oliver, 안녕하세요. <laughs> and Mezba, Pratisha, okay, so I hope you will enjoy today's lesson. And Papa, Rene, and Teratos, awesome, awesome. <laughs> and of course on Facebook too. So welcome, welcome. And before starting our lesson, as usual, 공지사항이 있어요. 공지사항이 있어요. It means I have an announcement. 안녕하세요, Sonia, uh, Francois, and uh, Iam Sally. What is the announcement? Ta-da! Do you see this banner? And this, yes, can you guess what it is? This is a group class, group class. And on koreanclass101.com, we have group class. And do I teach there? Yes, I do teach some Korean classes with uh, four or five students in one class in Zoom. So if you want to learn Korean directly with me or other Korean teachers who are very beautiful, talented, smart, professional, and kind, join it. <laughs> join it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the link is in the description. And Veronique and Susti, uh, Line, Angel, Jongmi. <laughs> okay, so we have lots of students watching from all over the world. And let me show you what you are going to see if you click the link in the description. You will see a page like this. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? I lost the page. No. <laughs> but if you click the link in the description, you will see a page. Let me show you directly. Ha! Huh, where is it? <laughs> so, done. Let me open a random page like this. This is our website page, koreanclass101.com. And if you click the link in the description, done. Live classes. Done. You are supposed to see a page like this. Yes, I just typed. <laughs> yes. Here, you can just click the Join Today button, the yellow button. And also, you can check out the curriculums here, curriculums here, if you don't know which level you can join at your level. And also, if you join the Zoom class with us, not only the Zoom class, you should be very busy with our program because we are going to send you a lot of uh, learning materials before learning Korean with me or other Korean teachers so you can review the lesson and also we uh, you learn it through Zoom class with other students and also we 
we and I give homework. So if you are a serious learner, I recommend joining it. But if you are just a light learner, oh, <laughs> I don't want to spend so much time learning Korea. And then I only see the room recommend because this is a serious program and we have lots of lots of <laughs> learning opportunities and also you can communicate with me and other teachers through my teacher messenger app 24 hours of course i will answer in 24 hours i cannot answer 24 <laughs> directly because i also have to sleep <laughs> but yes uh, you will be directly connected with a korean teacher like me so you we can chat every single day if you are interested oh <laughs> Told <laughs> me, ah, that's right. It's because not only the Zoom class, we have the full course included, like video lessons, audio lessons, lesson notes. Plus, you will be directly connected with the Korean teachers, so you can always talk with them. You can talk in Korea, and you can ask any questions, or you can just chat about yourself too. Like I had a Korean tea today, and that was amazing. Like that, anything is okay. Just our teacher is there to help you with your Korean culture or Korean language. So check it out if you're interested. This is a serious learning program, serious learning program who can actually dedicate learning Korean, who preview the lesson and who uh, do the homework and uh, take the Zoom class. <laughs> But instead, I can sure I can be sure that I can guarantee that you will your Korean will be improved a lot. That's what our students always say. So yes, the lesson will start in September, and we are going to close this Zoom live class Zoom live class uh, in one week. I think in one week. Yes. Uh, Mr. Teddy, yes, I will be teaching, but we have other teachers too. So I'm not sure if I will be your teacher, but yes, I teach the Zoom classes too. <laughs> so maybe we will meet and we will be able to talk directly on my teacher messenger app, but we are maybe not. I don't know. It's up to the company. <laughs> Papa, yes, check out if you want to learn Korean with me directly. FYI, I do not teach Korean outside of Korean Class 101 platform. So I got a lot of messages. I want to learn Korean from you directly, but I do not teach personally. So check out. <laughs> check out the link in the description. <laughs> okay, but our other teachers are very smart, professional, and they are so sweet and kind. I know that. <laughs> so check it out. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about our main topic. <laughs> Jan, yes, how to say cleaning items. So, who doesn't have cleaning items at home? <laughs> Everyone has it, right? Everyone cleans the room, right? <laughs> Although I'm not the person who cleans the house very well, but I also have these cleaning items. So, let's see how we can say that. Hi from Canada. We have a lot of people from Canada today. Hello. And Heta, good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> Vika, I'm doing good, thank you. And Marlon, an 안녕하세요, Jessica. Love to. <laughs> okay, so Jan, we already talked about this Zoom group class, so check it out the link in the description. And by the way, it's one hour, one hour every single week for 10 weeks. 10 weeks. So if you pay once, you will have access to Zoom class for 10 weeks, also six months to the uh, premium plus messenger, my teacher messenger. <laughs> okay, we stop talking about this. Let's learn the words first. So, <laughs> cleaning items in Korean is 청소 도구. 청소 도구. So, 청소. 청소 means cleaning. Cleaning. It's a noun. It's a noun. Meaning cleaning. But if you want to make it as a verb, it's very, very simple. Very, very simple. Don't worry. You just put Hada after 청소. So 청소하다 means to clean. To clean is a verb. But 청소 itself is a noun, meaning cleaning. And 도구 means a tools, item. Simple. <laughs> so 청소 도구 means cleaning items. And let's see what kind of cleaning items we have today. The first thing that we have is 빗자루. 빗자루. Zaru. And you and uh, Kyle? And oh, you want to learn more Korean language. So here you are for you. 
Zaharu meaning broom. Do you see this picture? Yes, broom is a noun meaning pizzaru. <laughs> pizzaru. And what verb can you use with this noun? So, what do you do with pizzaru? Broom. You sweep. You sweep, right? <laughs> <laughs> in Korean, in Korean, that verb to sweep is 쓸다, 쓸다, meaning to sweep. So for example, in the winter, it snows a lot. It snowed a lot. 눈이 많이 왔어요. So you have to uh, sweep snow with the broom. How can you say that? 빗자루로 눈을 Oops. It seems very long, so let me break down one by one, so it's not hard. First, 빗자루 부름, 부름? <laughs> 부름 is Korean pronunciation, but 부름. <laughs> 빗자루, and 로, 로, here, is a particle, Korean particle. And it means like with, with. When you use some tool, very often, we use this particle, 로. It means like using or with. So, with a tool, with a tool or means, then very often you use 로. So, 빗자루로 with a broom. 눈, snow, snow, and 을. Ah, uh, it's a particle, object marking particle, making 눈 as, uh, as an object of the sentence. And 쓸어요, 쓸어요 means sweep. Basically, same as this, 쓸, same as this. 쓸다 is a dictionary form, and 쓸어요 is spoken form, polite spoken form which we learned previously so check out <laughs> Bene heart <laughs> and joy morning morning and Karalin good morning from Germany mm, we have many many students from all over the world as usual so 빗자루로 눈을 쓸어요 not only 눈 you can just replace this word with another one for example like 먼지 먼지를 쓸어요 먼지 means dust Dust. So with broom, dust, sweep. So I sweep uh, dust with broom. By the way, I use 를 here. Previously, it was 을, right? But I'm using 를 here because this noun ended with vowels. So I'm using 를 here. 를, 를. But if this noun ends with a uh, consonant, then you use 을 here. 을. So, 먼지 end it with vowels. So I use 를. And 정미, 쓸다 means writing too, right? 쓸다, 쓸다 just means sweep, sweep, sweep. But writing is 쓰다, to write. You write a uh, diary. And 쓰다 has another meaning, which is to use. So it, the pronunciation is the same, but the meaning is completely different. But anyway, 쓰다, sweep, 쓰다, to use or to write. So, it's similar, but... <laughs> okay. And, 빗자루로 쓰다, 쓰다. As I mentioned, it means uh, to sweep with a broom. And we have another expression, which is exactly same as this. What is it? 빗자루 칠을 하다 아하 <laughs> 아하 so 빗자루 broom and 칠 means kind of like an action action behavior so you are doing a 빗자루 action what is 빗자루 빗자루 action what action what behavior what action can you do with 빗자루 it's just sweeping right sweeping <laughs> so 빗자루 칠 is the noun meaning sweeping sweeping with a broom it's a noun so when you want to use it as a verb then you can just put hada as 빗자루질 하다 or 빗자루질을 하다 so there are lots of expression using that so do you do 빗자루질 every day me no <laughs> not every day <laughs> me? no <laughs> so 빗자루질 빗자루질 아쿠아티 전 가을에 빗자루랑 입을 쓸어요. 입들을 쓸어요. 아, ah, you want to say this, right? 
저는 가을에 빗자루로 Please remember you do not use 랑, 랑. You use 로 because 빗자루 있어 to, to, 있어 to, to uh, do the action. And 입, usually we say 낙엽, 낙엽을 쓸어요. 쓸어요. So what is 낙엽? These are leaves from the tree. It's already fallen down on the ground. So you can find 낙엽, 낙엽, 낙엽. 입, 입. It's leaves too, but usually those are very fresh and it's on the tree. It's on the tree. Or it's just fresh. Nagyeob is, nag means fallen down. It's on the ground, fallen down. And yop is leaf. So it's fallen down, leaf. Leaf, fallen. <laughs> so if you find any leaf on the ground and it's dry, then we call nagyeob, nagyeob. <laughs> okay, and Shusti, 감사합니다. No, exactly. I don't sweep. I use a vacuum. Me too. <laughs> but I sometimes use broom for the small things, small things. <laughs> so I already have the words a little bit later. So let's keep learning. So what's the best friend of pizzaru broom? Of course, that's dustpan, right? You need dustpan, which is 쓰레받기. 쓰레받기. 쓰레받기 So 쓰, 쓰레 Can you guess what 쓰레 is from? What is 쓰레 is from? Yes, it's from 쓰레기 What is 쓰레기? Does anyone know? 쓰레기 Anyone knows the meaning of it? 쓰레기 means garbage Trash Garbage or trash So 쓰레기 And what is 밭? 밭? Pat is from patta, patta. Does anyone know what is patta? Patta means to receive or to get. And what is ki here then? At the end, there's a letter, right? Ki. What is ki? Ki means a tool. So it literally means, literally means garbage receiving tool. <laughs> 쓰레받기, 쓰레받기. Yes, it's 쓰레받기. And also with 쓰레받기, what action can you do? What action can you do? I think you are going to you sweep, you sweep and collect some garbage, right? In English, you don't really use this expression, but in Korea, we say this way. 쓸어 담다. 쓸어 담다. So very often with this 쓰레받기, we use this verb. Oops, where is it? 쓰러 담다 is here. Yes, good job, everyone. You know the uh, 받다, meaning to receive. Very good. And learn Japanese, that's right. So 기 means device, tool. <laughs> exactly, simply are to get the trash, garbage. <laughs> and we use this verb. It's actually a combination of two words, which is 쓰다. What is 쓰다? We learned it. Remember? What is it? Sweep. And what is 담다? 담다? 담다 means you put in, you put in or collect. You put in and collect. 담다. You sweep and then collect. Collect on the uh, dustpan, in the dustpan, right? That's why we use this, because you put inside. 담다, you put inside. So 쓸다 plus 담다. So for example, um, we learn the word, right? 먼지. Mm, Gailon, you are exercising a lot. <laughs> 먼지, 먼지를 쓸어 담다. <laughs> 먼지를 쓸어 담다. So you sweep this action. You sweep and then put it into. <laughs> How can I show you? You put it into. Those pen, 쓰레받기, right? This is the action. This is a verb. In Korea, we even have a verb. And 쓸어 담다. So, 먼지를 쓸어 담다. You sweep and collect the dust. And in the spoken form, we are, say, we are saying, 쓸어 담아요. 쓸어 담아요. 먼지를 쓸어 담아요. <laughs> 사키 네아바씨, 안녕하세요. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Okay, so let's move on. 짠, yes, now we have it. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. So how do you say vacuum cleaner in Korean? It's 
청소기, 청소기, or, oops, 청소기, <웃음> 청소기, or actually the the full word is 진공 청소기. 진공 means vacuum. 청소기 means cleaners. But actually without 진공, Korean people understand. So 청소기, a uh, cleaner. Then everyone knows that this is this vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. And in other countries, in some countries, you call it as um, Hoover, right? Hoover. 청소기, 청소기. So, what verb do you use with 청소기? What verb do you use? Then in Korean, we use 돌리다. 돌리다. So, what does 돌리다 mean? 돌리다. <laughs> 돌리다 literally means you turn you turn you turn it so something is moving like this turn fan is like this right <laughs> 돌리다 so you make it turn you make it turn why because when you use 청소기 you know the engine <laughs> turn right wing <laughs> that is <laughs> you have to make it turn that's why we use this verb so we say 청소기를 돌리다 돌리다 청소기를 돌리다 This is a dictionary form 돌리다 So in spoken form we say 청소기를 돌려요 Hey 춤춤 What are you doing? What are you doing? It looks like um, so noisy around you <laughs> And 춤춤 is saying ah, 청소기를 돌려요 I'm uh, vacuuming right now I'm vacuuming I'm using the vacuum cleaner to the house. So 청소기를 돌리다. 청소기를 돌리다. And 짠! Does anyone have this? I really want to have it. <laughs> this is robo cleaner. Robo cleaner. Does anyone have it? I do not have it. But <laughs> it would be really cool, right? So robo cleaner is 로봇 청소기. Robot 청소기 <laughs> So robot is from the English word directly Robot, robot and 청소기 is vacuum cleaner So robot 청소기 is robot cleaner Or it has lots of different words too La Lots of synonym too Well, some people say I I robot or Roomba Well, it's basically the brand of or the company's name, right? Who developed this company? This, uh, this <laughs> not company. Who developed this machine? So they, some people call it iRobot, iRobot, or Roomba, 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 <laughs> Roomba. But the more general term is just robot 청소기. Oh, simply art. I don't have it. Me neither. <laughs> Emily, I want, I want, want to. Me too. <laughs> Please clean my, my house for me. <laughs> 맞아요. 어, 네, 네, 지오. 맞아요. 로봇 청소기는 아주 비싸요. 로봇, 어, 로봇 청소기 is very expensive. And Sunil, hello. <laughs> Nikki, me too. <laughs> Everyone wants this one. <laughs> the vacuum cleaner is better in my opinion. I think so. I think it can clean better, but 저는 게을러요. <laughs> 저는 게을러요. It means I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, so next word that we have is 대걸레. 대걸레 is mop. As you see here, is mop. And 대걸레. <laughs> now, your mom is better at cleaning? Oh no, you should help her. <laughs> so, 대걸레 means move. It's a noun. And 대, 대 means big. And 걸레 means rag, rag. So it literally means big rag, big rag. Why? Don't you think this rag is very big? <laughs> this is big. It looks like this, right? So it's big. So it's, the name is 대걸레, 대걸레. So what verb can you use with this 대걸레, 대걸레? Hmm. You use 닦다 대걸레로 닦다 닦다 means to wipe or to wash and 
Ah, uh, now you know ro, right? You learned it today. <laughs> so ro means with. When you use some tool or mean, very often you use ro, ro, ro. So 대걸레 with 대걸레 몹 닦다 you wipe. You wipe the floor with 대걸레, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Polian, you almost missed the class, but you're there. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so, 대걸레로 닦다. In the spoken form, you can say, 대걸레로 닦아요. 대걸레로 닦아요. I move with uh, the 대걸레, move. Or, do you remember? 질, 질 is a word that we use after 빗자루, right? 빗자루. It means an action. So, 빗자루 질 means the action of uh, using 빗자루, broom, right? Which means like sweeping. Same, you can also put 대걸레 before 질. So, 대걸레 질 is then 대걸레 질. It's an action, the action of using mop. Basically, it's just mopping, it's a noun. 대걸레 질. So it's moping. <laughs> it's a noun. And if you want to use it as a verb, you can say 대걸레 질 하다. It's fine. Or you can say 대걸레 질을 하다. Either of them is fine. So it just means to mop. To mop. It's a verb. It's a verb. And 대걸레 질 is a noun meaning moping. Moping. Shoo, moping. <laughs> okay. So. Do you remember this is a big rag? Then just normal rag is 걸레. <laughs> 걸레. So 걸레, 걸레, 걸레. Yes. And this one is usually uh, same size as this size of towel. towel. Yeah. So just you can uh, wipe anything. You can wipe on the table with 걸레. Even the floor too. You can wipe. The floor, 바닥, 바닥, floor with 걸레, 걸레. Oh, then it's very simple. Now you want to say, I wipe, I wipe, I wipe it with rag. That, that is, 짠. Just remove <laughs> 대. 걸레로 닦아요. I wipe with a rag. 걸레로 닦아요. <laughs> 걸레로 닦아요. And can I use the verb? Uh, 걸레질을 하다? Yes, of course. So, 걸레질 meaning to using rag. Using rag. And if you want to use it as a verb, then you can say 걸레질을 하다. 걸레질을 하다. By the way, please note that you do not use 걸레, 걸레 to wipe the Table for food. Table for food. <gasps> then what do you use? What do you use? We use different, different word, which is 행주. Oops, not this. 행주, 행주, 행주. Do you see the difference? So, there are two words. 걸레, 걸레, and 행주. 걸레, to Korean people, we have negative image. It's very dirty. <laughs> so, uh, maybe you can just wash, uh, wash. You can wipe the desk, chair, floor, or just normal table for work. That's okay if you use 걸레. But for dining table, you should use 행주. 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 So, 행주 is basically a dish rag, dish rag, and you usually wipe it the um, dining table, dining table. Because when you use 걸레, it sounds like it's dirty and the food should be on the clean place. How do you use 걸레? So, please use 행주. We have, Korea in, in normal Korean people's house, we have different rag, which is only for other things and only for dining table, dining table, because dining table or the kitchen, in the kitchen, we use only hangju because it should be clean. <laughs> so they are different. Yes, this trick, 걸레 and 행주. And also just, you can just replace 
This word too, so easy. 행주로 닦아요. It means you wipe something with 행주. 행주질을 하다. 와, 행주질을 해요. In the spoken form. That means you do this action with 행주. This track. So, 질 is such a useful word, especially for housework. If you put 질 after uh, the noun, noun usually the to, to such as 행주, 걸레, 대걸레, or 음, 빗자루, <laughs> after the to, very often it becomes a noun, talk, uh, mentioning, saying, uh, talking about the action, or it can become a noun with 하다 verb. So useful. <laughs> okay, so now everyone wash your clothes, right? I do wash my clothes. Of course, I do not wash myself. I do have 세탁기, 세탁기, which means wash machine, wash machine. 세탁기, 세탁기. And 세탁, 세탁, it means washing. And 기 means to. Mm, we learned it, right? So 세탁기 means washing machine. 세탁기 and um, what verb do you think we use with 세탁기? 세탁기를 돌리다 Do you remember this verb that we used with 청소기, right? Because when you use 청소기, the engine, the motor <laughs> motor is turning Same! 세탁기 also inside <laughs> inside something the motor is moving wing and then 세탁기 is moving like this right so 돌리다 means make it turn to make it turn and 세탁기를 돌리다 this is a verb 세탁기를 돌리다 세탁기를 돌리다 literally means you use the washing machine you use the washing machine but if you just want to say oh i do the laundry in general term as a general term mm. Oh my god, I don't have any clothes. I have to wash my clothes. I have to wash my clothes. Wash my clothes or do the laundry in Korean is 빨래를 하다. 빨래를 하다. 빨래 means laundry. 하다 means do. So to do the laundry is 빨래를 하다. 빨래를 하다. What if I uh, hang up the laundry like this? Because you have to dry your clothes after washing, right? So how can you do this action? <laughs> you uh, you hang on the string, <laughs> hang hang the laundry, hang the laundry. How do you say that? This hang is 널다, 널다. So you use this verb, 널다, 널다. 빨래를 널다. In the spoken form, you can say 빨래를 널어요. I hang up the laundry. 빨래를 널어요. So now your clothes is all dried. What do you have to do? Do you just throw away? <laughs> no, you fold the laundry, right? What is fold? Fold like this. Fold, fold. Fold the laundry is 빨래를 개다. 개다. 개다 in the dictionary form. But the spoken form is 빨래를 개요. I fold the laundry. 빨래를 개요. 빨래를 개요. And in many places in Korea these days, we have dryer, dryer, dryer. So the dryer is 건조기, 건조기. 건조 meaning meaning dry. And now you have 기 here, 기 meaning tool. So device. So dry. Uh, the drying device is dry, dryer. And now you want to say, oh, I use, I use 건조기. What verb can you use? Of course, you use 건조기를 돌리다. <laughs> because it also use wing 건조기를 돌리다. So a lot of uh, machine that use the motor and moving like this, we use this verb 돌리다, 돌리다, 돌리다. Okay. And now, does anyone wash your dish i'm sure everyone wash dish at home and when you wash dish how do we say wash dishwashing the action of washing dish is 설거지 
설거지. 설거지. So dishwashing in Korean is 설거지. 설거지. If you want to make it as a verb, verb, this is a noun by the way, 설거지. You just put 하다 at the end. That's it. So simple. <laughs> yes. Ah, 빨래라는 뮤지컬 아세요? I think I watched it before. <laughs> and 건조기를 돌리다 practice 샤이 정리. Great job. And 루인 나다. 괜찮아요. <laughs> and 설거지를 하다. And when you use, when you do dishwashing, 설거지, what do you use? You use some kind of dish scrubber or some kind of sponge, right? How do you say that in Korean? That's 수세미. You see here, right? 수세미. 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 Dish scrubber or dish wash, uh, di is dish washing sponge. <laughs> 수세미. And, 짠. When you rinse, rinse the dish, we also use this verb, 헹구다. 헹구다. <laughs> so, for example, 컵을 물에 헹구다. 컵. Everyone knows 컵. 컵, 컵, 컵. 컵을 물에, 물, 물, 물 means water. And 헹구다 meaning rinse, to rinse. So, you, uh, to rinse cup. Rinse a cup in water or with water is 컵을 물에 헹구다. 컵을 물에 헹구다. And do you have dishwasher? Dishwasher in Korean is 식기 세척기. And more and more, more Korean people buying 식기 세척기. 식기 세척기 is dishwasher. So we wash dishes automatically. It's a dishwasher. It's a machine. I have a question. So what verb are you going to use with this? This 식기 세척기. 식기 세척기를 돌리다, of course. <laughs> because it also used some kind of machine, the mo motor, ring, <laughs> and then you wash all the 식기, meaning dish, dish. You wash all the 그릇, 그릇, another way to say dish. So 식기 세척기를 돌리다, 돌리다. 돌리다 is so useful with this kind of um, machine, right? <laughs> okay. So yes, today we learned a lot of words and uh, there are some words that I wanted to introduce which you can find uh, in my PDF as usual. <laughs> but like 청소하다, 버리다, those are also important too, right? 청소하다. To clean, 버리다, 버리다, meaning to throw away, throw away. So, to relate to this, there are so many, so many words. <laughs> so please make sure to review today's ex today's expression because we have lots of lots of words today, and these are very common, right? Very common in your country, and of course in Korean too. So if you come to Korea, I'm sure you will use this word. <laughs> So these are really, really important and you will see these things in Korean dramas and movies because cleaning is important. 청소는 중요해요. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching today's video. And as usual, before finishing the lesson, <laughs> don't forget to check out the link in the description. Yay! <laughs> We have a lot of students joined in the middle of the class, but I so I'm giving you the announcement. 공지사항 again, 공지사항 again. So we have group class on KoreanClass101.com. The semester starts in September, and I also teach uh, several groups. But except for me, there are other Korean teachers too. So you might be learning with other Korean teachers who are smart, professional, knowledgeable, and kind, sweet and beautiful <laughs> so if you want to learn korean with a native korean teachers directly through zoom lesson and also you want to be connected with the korean teachers 24 hours seven days <laughs> through the my teacher messenger app application please check out the link in the description and you can you can join our Zoom online classes. This is a serious learning program, which means you have a lot of homework from teachers like me, but we, we 
we can say that you will improve a lot. This is a really serious program. <laughs> so if you want to learn Korean seriously, and then if you want to really improve Korean in a short amount of time, please check out the link in the description. And seriously, yes, I do teach in Zoom class too. Yes. <laughs> And I'm having a lot of fun time with my students. So I hope I can meet more students through, through the Zoom directly. <laughs> that would be really fun. <laughs> and we uh, got really close because we talk on my teacher messenger app every single day. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so next week, I'm going to uh, give away some free Korean learning materials, the PDF lesson notes. And the topic will be making plans in Korean. So I'll introduce how you can get this kind of free learning materials every month from koreanclass101.com. Free, free, by the way. <laughs> free, free, free. As long as you are a member of koreanclass101.com. You don't need to sign up for paid membership. But anyway, then join next week's class. It will be August 25th, 25th, Thursday, 1 p.m. in Korean time. That will be super duper fun. <laughs> So, thank you so much. 감사합니다. And you will join next week's class too, right? So, I'll be waiting for you. So, please join it. I'll be uh, waiting for today's <laughs> today's members. I rem I'll remember all of this. I remember. <laughs> so, once you join today, join next week too. 감사합니다, JD. Yes, if you want to learn seriously, hmm, check out the link in the description. And Kwati, my homework is to clean the house. Yes, <laughs> everyone, we have homework. Please, number one, please clean your house. <laughs> clean your house. Number two, make a sentence using one of, using one of the words that you learned today. <laughs> you can tag me. You can tag me if you want. Or you can just leave a comment on koreanclass101.com, YouTube, and Facebook. 감사합니다, Venus, Kwati, uh, Nezero, Shusti, <laughs> and Pratisha, and JD, Jongmi, Simply Art, Lin Nada, Kailon, and Urasaya. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so I'll see you next week. Bye bye. 다음 주에 봐요. Merci, Veronique. And Chim Chim also want to say bye bye. Felicitas, 안녕, 안녕. <laughs> Lene, Poliana, 다음 주에 봐요. 안녕, bye bye. <laughs>